14, 17 hours of 112, 24. Here's my Newman motor. Small as it is. That's about as fast as it runs. This coil used to be 30,000 ohms. It was damaged before I could put the wax on it. I managed to get it connected inside internally, but it's only at 16,000 ohms. I don't know the inductance on it. It does. Uh, machines won't measure it. Eighty-three volts, thirty milliamps. It'll go to forty sometimes. Here's the scope on it. Here's the positive pulses with the rounding or the uh, shorting in between each one of them. Here's the negatives. They're down here. Here's the shorting on those. These are negative shorting. Positive shorting. Here's the numbers. I've only got 83.9 volts at 30 milliamps it shows. Peak is over 160 volts occasionally, but I think these are RMS values. That's 58, 77s. The spectrum on it, this is at 120k, that's the arcing. This is all arcing on the points. And we're up to 6 megahertz. Probably getting some RF static off of it. There it go, there it go. I'm getting. You don't get so much over here. So I'm thinking it's all coming off this coil. So I waxed this coil after I repaired it. And yeah, it used to be a 30K, 30 30,000 ohm but it's, it's down to 16 now. That very thin wire is just too small to really work with. It's not bad. It looks like maybe three. It's a five watt bulb. It looks like it's about three watts maybe four but that's it, it might go a little faster here's my one of my adjusters I've got adjustments on these get too far it'll slow it down it'll get off timing will be off Some are on in there. It's it's not bad tension wise, torque wise. That's what it stopped. But yeah, using a hard drive platform. 
as they spin easy. Plastic Maker made all these for it. That is great for making a nice round cylinder. Here's three separate parts. I glued a big washer. Underneath where it rests on top of the magnet, that's to hold the timing in place. Otherwise, it'll just slip around there. You need something to hold it. I've got the magnet set in the center of the timing. Ah, oh, they're close enough. Yeah, about right. One, two, three. I've, only, I've got seven terminals, seven positive, seven negative, and the shorting bar, which has an, it's got a break at it, purposely. Now the grounds are all connected all the way around until you get to one spot and then you leave it open. That's the way Newman had his. That's the way it looked like on his wheel. Now that shorting bar, that'll short. It, it's a DC motor, but you're pulsing it. But as it comes off each, each pulse, it'll short it and then go to the next pulse, short it, come off short, short. But other than that, but it's putting in an AC voltage into this coil and everything ends up inside the cap. Which is running, yeah, well, 700p right now. But that's the brush. These are thin 0.1 millimeter copper strip. Cut them out with scissors. Copper wrapped. Take the same copper, wrap it around. I saw it. Here's the grounding. No, this is, this is the, well, here's one of the terminals. It runs through half of this. This here is the shorting bar. That's the small ones. It runs up here connects connects down below to the same thing it runs through to the other side and here's where the break is the thin ones it's not connected they're not it's not a connected shorting bar, they're open. But they're, it's a one piece with an open shorting. Here's the one pole, this is for the positive, negative, whichever one you want. Turn the voltage around, the motor will run backwards, or run the other way. This is an arm. I'm just using the wire here as, a, as the tension very light same way up here it's just goes up there and kind of just rests on it that's important these here I've got this just it's butted up against the commutator turns fairly easy turn it on So that's my Newman motor. That's 
the size of it. It'll fit in a 6 by 6 inch box. Now this is just the first one. I, this is the only, first and only one I've gotten running. I've tried other styles. I didn't know really what to expect, but here it is. And they run slow. For checking this with the scope, I got the probe it's to divide by 10. I've got that on the L1 terminal. This ground, though, goes right to the computer ground. I've got this 30, 40 meg, I don't know what it is. I figured it's 70 to 1 that I've got it as the ground. That's the numbers it's trying to kick out. There it is. Now this is just a first design or a first run. Thought I'd let you guys know that his motor does run. This could be scaled up. I just don't know how much and what is needed. So yeah, if you scale this thing up, maybe increase the voltage, like I said, 40 gauge wire, it will burn through if it starts arcing internally, but the voltage gets too high. I've already had that happen to one of my coils, happen deep inside, and I found it when I unraveled it. So you got to have to watch this arcing and the voltage coming out of these. I waxed this one. I don't know if I'll have that much trouble with this or not. I wasn't making a Newman motor with it, but I was running. I had to find 1,200 volts. And something is somewhere, it wasn't wax coated, but yeah, it, it uh, started burning through. Not so much burning, let's say arcing. So that's my Newman motor, as small as it may be.